29 months ago today, uh, I released the very first of the Teesside based books, which was Lee Duffy, The Hole of the Moon. I've just finished and sent to the printers a very South Bank story, which is the 10th and final Teesside based book. Um, 19 of my books are on Amazon now, but there was 10 which were like Middlesbrough themed. Um, and it's done, it's completed. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be on now moving to, I've got people to, to work with in London, Essex, Liverpool, Manchester. Um, but yeah, the, the first the first one was obviously, was probably the biggest, which was Lee Duffy, The Hole of the Moon. And, um, and Finishing, uh, which is out this Friday, it's a very South Bank story. And that's um, Paul Venice's take on being brought up in South Bank. Uh, obviously, people know who Paul Venice is because he's going to be playing Lee Duffy in the, the Sears film. He was in the documentary Too Far Too Soon. Um, Paul's an incredible story in himself, but this this book, um, he's going to do another book based on his life, but that's probably a couple of years away. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly after he plays Lee, uh, he's only just gone thirty five. Paul, so. I imagine it probably will be a, a few years away, but this book, A Very South Bank Story, is basically him growing up as a little boy, being bullied, uh, very much like Lee, and the very similar kind of story. He became the fighter, had his problems with drugs, um, going to prison, all this kind of thing, and he turned his life around, found God. But this, this book is, um, the clues in the name, as I said, it's a very, very South Bank story. The forward is by a bit of a South Bank legend, and um, when you've got my introduction, and then the book is uh, ten chapters on Paul, and um, there's also one of the one of the Duffy family in as well. So it's just basically, you know, if you could imagine growing up in Nottingham, hearing stories of Robin Hood, this is um, a little boy's tale, if you like, a grown up, grown up in the nineties. Of hearing this mythical folklore uh, story, if you like, but obviously, as I said, it, it wasn't. It wasn't mythical. It was a. It wasn't no tall story. It, it was a true story. So this is just. Um, this is just Paul's experiences on on what it was like growing up hearing this story. You know, being like ten year old with his mates on BMXs going to visit Lee's grave, all this kind of thing. Um, Hence the reason why it's called a very very South Bank story. So you can pre-order it now, guys. It's on it's on Amazon four pounds ninety five. The paperback is only twelve ninety five, uh, and it supports a registered charity as well. Um, Paul's picked it, which is support autism. So lots of goods going to come out of it, and um, yeah, it's it's you know hasn't all been hasn't always it's you know it's had it's been quite eventful doing the middle of the books. Um, some people loved them, some people hated them. Um, yeah, I'm sure you've, you've gathered, you've read, you've seen all the drama and that. But I am done with it now, I'm completely done. I need to run ahead and run the opposite way um, for my sanity, but also for, there's nothing really else, there's nothing really, um, I don't think, in the area that I would want to do anyway. Um, not unless somebody like Chris Rea rang me or Stewie Downen or someone like that. You know, certainly from... Uh, a true crime element it, it's done it's covered and um after this year i'm going to be leaving the, the true crime anyway i want to be you know i mean obviously i'm going to be working with alex reed and i'm going to be sitting down with ricky burns when he retires and that so yeah i think that the middles of a complete middles of books are absolutely done for me unless it was a, a footballer or or something like that but um yeah it's it's been interesting because it's, uh it's been interesting to say the, the least because middlesbrough's it's an inter it's an interesting place, isn't it? And um, I know there's a lot of lot of a lot of lamb like being over the last couple of years. Uh, as I said, I know one young lad come from Belfast to to just spend a bit of time in, in Middlesbrough, and I've had messages personally myself from from people um, from people as far away as like Kent and Manchester saying. Wesley Duffy Berry, where was the commercial? All and then they just I, when they first messaged me, I thought they were like. Um, I thought they were from Darlington or Stockton, and, and the people. Oh no, we're going to come and you know 
do crime walks and all this. So, yeah, Middlesbrough has a, a little bit of a lamb like the last couple of years. But I am done with them now, completely done with the books. And um, I'm sure probably others will come along and do the books, but it certainly won't be by me. Um, but, yeah, just to let you know, uh, a very South Bank story was the 10th. It's going to be out this Friday and it's the last as well. Obviously, everyone knows the whole of the moon was the first, but uh, out of the 19, 10 were done on Teesside, Middlesbrough based, Borough based, if you like, all that kind of thing. Um, and that chapter's completely closed now. So, right, guys, thank you so much for listening to my dribble. And uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. God bless. Thank you.